All right. Now that we have our everything set up, uh, we're gonna start making our platform game. So this is the Construct Three engine. Um, so this white thing here, it's our level. It's called layout in Construct. Um, if you hold down the control button and then scroll back in this mouse wheel, uh, you can see the entire level. If you use the middle mouse, click on that, you can drag this and move the level around. Okay, so this white part is the level and then this little dash line is a wheel part. Um, that's what we're going to see if we do a preview. So for example, if we click play, you see how this is white I mean, this little white area is right like this, right? That is this area right here. Anything outside, you're not gonna be able to see it. Um, so we're just gonna focus on this area for now. Okay, so with this our level, first I'm gonna change the name. I'm gonna call this level one. As you can see here, this is our project our hierarchy. Uh, level one is right here. That's this level right here. This is the size of the level. Uh, so right now the size is 2560 times 1440. The first number refer to the width and the second number refer to the height of the level. So let's say we want to make this shorter. Um, we can change this to let's say something like 1000. Okay, well that works. Um, if we want to make the level longer, we can change this to 3000 or any number that fit your need. So you can see we have a pretty long level like this. So now we're going to add our character. So right click and click insert new object. Um, then you're going to go down to the category that say general and find an uh, icon called sprite. A sprite is pretty much a picture, an image. So click insert and then it will ask you to place it somewhere. So I'm going to place it here. All right, so now we have the animation editor. This is pretty much like a, like a paint, okay? So you can draw stuff like this. But since we got some cool asset pack from the internet, we're not gonna draw our own. Uh, right click, import frames from strip. And then you can open your uh, pixel adventure pack. So I saved it on my desktop, go find it, wherever you saved it. Uh, so if you go in here, you'll see there's a photo called main characters. And then there's a bunch of characters we can choose from. I'm just going to use the ninja frog because he's awesome like that. Uh, and then, so if you right click, you can do extra large to see stuff a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to choose the idle animation. So click open. It will ask you, so remember how like that, that image, um, that image of the main character is in a strip like this like there's a bunch of them so that's called image strip it'll ask you how many cells how many how many um, you know how many cut can you make out of this image well, basically it'll do this automatically so just leave this 11 by 1 and then check this replaced entire animation it'll get rid of this picture we did earlier so click import and as now it import everything into separate image. It automatically slices it up. And you can see um, a little frog is moving if you click through the different frames here. Uh, you can also click this button to preview the animation, but you only do it once, right? So we want to loop this. So click on the animation and click loop. And if you preview, it will go up and down like this. And then if you want to change the speed of it, like make him go faster. You can change the speed here like 10, then he'll go faster. Let's change the name of this animation to idle. We need to refer back to this later. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna close this. And now we have our character here. Let's zoom in, it's very small. If you hold down the corner, it will scale and like not in proportion and look weird. So make sure you hold down shift and then drag it up and that will scale it bigger. All right, let's click preview and see what happened. So give it a second, it will load up the preview. Oh, we have a white screen. Why is that? Well, remember how I said that 
this is the viewport, this little triangle, um, maybe not triangle, rectangle right here. It's a uh, viewport. Our character is outside of the viewport, so we don't see him. If we move him in there, and let's click preview again. And we can see him. Okay. But um, that's kind of annoying though, right? Because we want the camera uh, to follow the character. So how do we do that? So let's move him back over here. So click on the character uh, behavior. Click this and click add new behavior. So behavior is like stuff that you can add to the object to change it, to do the stuff, okay? So if you go down to general, to the inside behavior, and you can scroll to and add that. So what that do is that when you, the camera, like this wheel part, will always center on the character. So we click play. And uh, let the preview load up. You can see now the camera follow where the character is. All right, so it's alive. We got our character in the game, uh, but we can't really do anything. So this is a little bit boring. Um, let's try to add some other stuff on this on the next tutorial, but make sure you got here first before you get to the next video. I'll talk to you soon.